So what you get over here, just uh, pull that board off the, the gun gently, and unscrew the coil on the gun. Yeah, just unscrew it. Should all this pull off? I need to wiggle them a bit. Just try not to force anything because it's uh, glass. Um, yeah, there I pulled it off. Do all this at your own risk. I suggest trying to do this if you've never done it before. You might break something or electrocute yourself. Potentially. Just pull it out. Uh, yeah, just pull it out. Shake it a bit off. Shake all that shit off after you pull it out. There it is. There's the model number, this tube. It's kind of bad lighting in here, so I don't know if you can actually read that. And here's the replacement tube.
just uh, reverse and install it. I'm just using a tube from a M4, which is the exact same tube. Just this chassis and the boards it comes with are way more professional and configurable than the M4. So this chassis basically makes the M4 obsolete. It's way more able to be perfect from all the screen options it has. I just had a couple cracks at the top corners. I'm not sure if it was me that did it, but just crazy glue them back so they don't crack anymore. Can't really see me doing it. But yeah. That's what I'm doing. This bezel is pretty tough to line up proper. I think you have to make sure the bottom half is lined up proper first. There's a couple little slots that the, these tabs slide in. You just screw in the yoke and everything in the back of it. Make sure you reinstall the anode cap or else you can shock the frame or something. Short out your TV. Break random stuff, possibly electrocute you.
That's all hooked up with the Super Nintendo G RGB. With my shiny server drive. I'm kind of new at recording CRT screens, so it looks pretty bad. I'm just adjusting the contrast and brightness. It was way too high. Sure, the geometry is looking good. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this screen. Pretty sure the colors look more bright with this tube. Hopefully, it had less hours on it, but I don't think there's any way of telling because it didn't come from another BVM. does look really good, so... And it has no burn in. That's the main reason why I swapped it into this chassis. I'll probably put the other tube in an M4. I have an M4 I have to fix. If I can. If not, it will just be a backup tube. But I doubt I'll ever burn out this tube because I'm not playing it 24 7 like it's meant to be. I think tubes have 60,000 hour average lifespan or something. It's pretty insane. Well, these ones at least. So, yeah, I'm never gonna hit that 60,000 hour mark. I had this, all the modules on this BVM service by Savon Pat himself. That's why everything looks so perfect.
Just turning the yoke. Before I do a final tighten up on it. Get it as straight as possible. Maybe replace a couple other extra caps on it just because I feel like it, but this monitor should be good for another 20 years or so, definitely. the sharpest 14 inch CRT I've ever seen. That's a uh, 15 kilohertz. 